What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to fix an aspect of your car's alignment. We're gonna be working on the Supra today, getting my steering wheel straight. Now here's the thing, when you go to a shop and get your car's alignment squared away, of course they're gonna get it nice to where all the wheels, the toe, the camber and everything is in check to where the car tracks perfectly straight and you get even tire wear. The biggest downfall is when the technician is gonna get your car lined up for alignment, they'll basically sit in your car, manually put your steering wheel to straight, lock it down a little bit using a jig that goes to the seat and then they're gonna perform the alignment However, that doesn't necessarily mean your steering wheel is gonna be perfectly straight. I had the issue on the S3, and once again with the Toyota Supra, had an alignment done after doing the lowering springs, and I noticed that the steering wheel was just slightly crooked. I'd be going perfectly straight, and the wheel was crooked. If I straightened out the steering wheel, I'd start drifting. And now that I have this new steering wheel in the car, as you can see, we have a stripe up on top and a flat bottom design, and it is an amazing steering wheel. However, the downfall with that, I really, really notice it now. You can easily tell when the stripe isn't perfectly centered, and you can easily tell when the flat bottom isn't flat. So now it's really bugging me. So we're gonna show you how to fix that on your car, an at-home free alignment adjustment to get your steering wheel back to straight. All right, so in the Super now, going on a straight road, you might already be able to notice it, and I'll even get onto the center of the road that way nothing's drifting me, but I'm tracking perfectly straight right now. However, you can tell the steering wheel is not correct. If I straighten it out, I'm gonna hit that GMC. So hopefully you can tell that with the steering wheel nice and straight, I'm drifting to the right, and with a little cockeye to the left, that is when the car is going perfectly straight. So basically we need to make it to where the car tracks straight, but the steering wheel sits like that. So basically the job we're gonna perform on the Supra today is adjusting your tie rod ends. Now you may be asking what the heck is a tie rod end link? That is basically what connects your steering wheel to the wheels themselves. And this is pretty much transferable to any car. So the goal is your car has already had an alignment. If you're driving your car, steering wheel's crooked and it's been a long time since you've had an alignment, go ahead and get a proper alignment first. So you need to have that done first, and then it's basically after the fact, if you notice your steering wheel wasn't perfectly straight, that's when adjusting your tie rod ends is going to come into play as a really good way to get that adjustment dialed in. So from the test we just did with the point of view camera, when I straighten the steering wheel out, the car starts drifting to the right. That tells me that I need to make both front wheels aim a little bit more left. That way a straight steering wheel translates to a straight driving car. So you first wanna find where your tie rod end links are. Are they on the front side or the back of the wheel? And as we're gonna see on the Supra, they are way up in front. So now we know if we lengthen this front tie rod end, it is gonna poke the front of the tire outwards. If we shorten that, pulling it in, we're gonna be pulling this wheel this way. So I've already done it on the other side just to know exactly how to work it on this car. But basically the goal is we wanna aim the wheels in one direction. So with the steering wheel straight, car starts going right, we need to pull this car to the left. Therefore, on the passenger side, we need to shorten that tie rod end. It's on the front of the wheel. If we shorten it, that'll pull the wheel to the left. On this one, we need to lengthen that tie rod end, therefore back out some threads. That way this will poke to the left a little bit. So to hopefully show this in better detail, we have an adjustable wrench, a T50 for this particular car, Sharpie marker, and some blue painter's tape. So right up here, we have that T50. We can go ahead and loosen this bolt just a few turns just to get us some leeway. So I'll put one on the threads under here, giving myself enough leeway to have threads go in and out. And then I'll put another one just on the metal. So from here, I'll draw a straight line right there and a corresponding line right there. So with all that done, now we know exactly where straight is and straight is. On this one, you wanna look at the pitch of the threads. Now they go this way, so I know if I turn it around that way, this will go into here, therefore shortening this tie rod. And on the other side, I shorten it. On this side, we want to lengthen it and push the front of this tire out towards the left. That way the car is aiming towards the left. And from here, we're just going to turn it a half of a turn to pull out that tie rod end just a little bit. And then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and tighten this bolt back up. So once again, hopefully that all made sense to you. 
the driver side tie rod end, I turned it one quarter of a turn in the direction that would lengthen that tie rod end, which would in turn push out this wheel aiming towards the left. And then over here on the passenger side, I did the exact opposite. I shortened the tie rod end by turning it in the opposite direction, exactly one quarter of a turn, which shortened that, which again pulled this towards the left. So getting back onto the straightaway, let's line everything up and the steering wheel is perfectly straight and now I'm just barely going over to the right. So now if the car, if I let the car just go straight, the steering wheel is barely cockeyed. So I think another quarter turn will get this perfect, but as you can tell it is significantly better. Holding the steering wheel straight, I just barely the slightest am starting to drift to the right, so we're almost there. So back at the house, once again, we're gonna loosen this bolt real quick. And then continue tightening this one to pull this tire towards the inside of the car. So we're gonna do another half a turn. And get that line right on the top. And then go ahead and just tighten this back and move on to the other side. So then moving to the other side, once again, we're gonna loosen this up a couple turns. And in our quest to get the tires to aim more left, the line is up here to here. We need to get this line up on top, but now we're going to extend this. So turn the threads in the opposite direction that we do on the other side and get this where it belongs. All right, so we are gonna get back onto the straight section, the flat section. So now it looks like I've done it a little bit too much. When I straighten out the wheel, I'm slowly drifting left. And when the car is going perfectly straight, the steering wheel is a little cockeyed to the right now. So I think now I just need to do the opposite of what I've just done, maybe an eighth of a turn, and I think we're gonna be perfect. All right, third time's a charm, hopefully. Let's get to the center of the road. Steering wheel is lined up straight and we are tracking perfectly straight. So it took me three tries to really dial it in, but now flat bottom, steering wheel straight, everything, we're looking pretty good. I don't think I noticed any issues. So there we go, we have straightened out the steering wheel. So now my alignment of course is already in check, but now the steering wheel matches and we can drive the cars straight, no more crooked out on the road. We got a straight wheel. So then back from the third test drive, there you guys go. That is how you're able to straighten out your steering wheel in relation to the alignment of your car. Honestly, it would take maybe 20 minutes to knock out. Of course, there is some trial and error. There's really no set idea on how many turns is going to turn your steering wheel. I'm not exactly sure the ratio. However, you know, a quarter turn or maybe a half a turn at a time, you're able to fine tune it. And once again, this is only ideal if you've just had a full alignment. If your car's already out of whack, get a full alignment. That way your tires are actually gonna wear correctly and everything is correct. But, you know, sometimes they just don't get those steering wheels straight. It's the technician doing it by their eye and then using a rig to mount this and hold it tight, but it can always wiggle, you know. It's not set in stone that it's not gonna wiggle when they're making adjustments. So there's a good chance almost every time it might be a little crooked, but that is how you fix it for free. Knock it out in your car, pretty much any car, that's how you fix your steering wheel. Hope you guys enjoyed today's quick video. If you did, throw us a thumbs up, give it a subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video.